All right, today we're here with Mars in Blue, and this is their roadmap to success. So I've got a couple treats here to kind of bribe them into hanging out with me. Sit. Like, oh, we love these treats. Um, when I first got here, they were pretty excitable. Happy dogs to um, see me. And um, what we wanted to primarily work on today was just kind of increasing our leadership in the house, creating rules and boundaries. So I wanna remind the guardians to make sure that we're enforcing rules. This is going to help them have calmer energy overall and gain that kind of impulse control. We have two one-year-old dogs, and this is the time when they're more mostly adolescent age, and this is when they're gonna have a lot of energy and they're gonna be pretty excitable. So what we wanna do is make sure that we're following the rules. So no furniture for a minimum of 30 days or until the behavioral issues that you called about have been resolved, okay? And then we're gonna have uh, only furniture with permission. This means that if the dogs come over and wanna get on the couch, they have to sit first with part of our petting with a purpose. And then you can call them up onto the couch by giving them a command word such as couch or up and kind of pat the couch or whatever you want to do. And then if they were to get off the couch, remember that they have to sit, um, that they have to then get permission again to get back on the couch. This way they're not just barging up there. Another rule that we wanna enforce is make sure that they're sitting or staying respectful distance away from the front door before going outside and that we're petting with a purpose as well. Every time you pet them, you're essentially rewarding them for good behavior. So as I'm doing right here, where I'm trying to pet them under their chin, that's facilitating them to feel good about themselves by having their nose goes up. Now, if they start to get kind of attention demanding, like you see here where um, Blue started to put his paw over my arm, I'm just pulling my hand away and waiting for him to learn that doing that kind of uh, demanding of attention isn't gonna get him more attention. It's actually gonna take that away. So that's part of petting with a purpose. Now, if they're doing undesirable behaviors, I want you to disagree with them using our escalating consequences. And to also be doing the leadership exercise with both dogs at least once a day for the next two weeks. It's always something that I want you to kind of reinforce at least once a week over the next couple of months. It's just to keep reinforcing that you are serious about the leadership position. And it's just a good gentle reminder of like, hey, no, we're serious, we care about you. We're gonna take the leadership position. We're in control of the house. You can be relaxed and calm. Um, I also wanna encourage you to um, be giving them marrow bones in the morning. You can go ahead and freeze them, help them um, last longer. And then also using the Kongs when you uh, leave for their lunch break. That way they have something to do. They're staying busy. That'll give them something to do while you're gone and kind of give, give a little bit of that mental stimulation. And that way when you exercise them, you have two, both things every day. You have the exercise and then the mental stimulation. Um, and I want to remind you that everything you do trains your dog, only sometimes you mean it. What's that?